This is Atom. It is my favorite code editor because the interface is very clean and it does not distract me while I'm working. Just like many other code editors, Atom supports plugins to extend its functionality. For example, I can install a linter that analyzes my code to find problems. Here you see it in action. Apparently, pretty much anything I typed in was wrong. On the one hand, that is good to know, on the other hand, it distracts me from what I'm doing. Maybe I'm in the middle of refactoring, maybe I'm just trying out some things and it is exactly in these moments that I do not want to be distracted by my editor. First of all, there's a lot of extra noise in the code. There is an extra pane with the list of errors. And Atom even shows errors in files I'm not working in right now. We have a natural tendency to get rid of all the problems as soon as possible. Nobody likes red flags in the code. But now there is the risk that you start fixing problems when you should be doing something else. Writing code. I want a separation between thinking and typing in code. And when I'm done, fix possible mistakes and problems. So I want to run the linter in the command line. How can you do this? In this tutorial I will use Flake 8. Flake 8 is a wrapper around other tools and it will do static code analysis to find problems with your code. I will pip install this in a virtual environment. I'll run the code and we see that the code works. Now I'll run the flake8 command. This takes a while. This is because flake8 will now also analyze all the files in my virtual environment. I want to exclude the virtual environment folder. Okay, that worked. Now I see four problems with the code. The first one is an easy one. I imported date time and I didn't use it. Let's get rid of it and run flake again. This got rid of two errors. The unused import statement and also E302, expected two blank lines. So what problems are still there? For example, the last one, E231, missing white space after a comma. That's an easy one. Only one problem left. Expected two lines after a class of function definition. Let's add an extra line and run the command again. No more problems. Now there's also the possibility to ignore some problems. I'll give you a very common example for this. I'll create a line with more than 80 characters. I'll run flake again, and we see an error, line too long. But I don't want to fix this error, I just want to ignore it. So I add another parameter to the flake command. Let me clear the terminal and run flake again with both parameters added. I exclude folder env and I ignore error 501. You can ignore multiple errors by comma separating them. Okay, I've just showed you how you can run flake on the command line. Only after finishing a chunk of code, I want to run this command to check if everything is okay. Of course, you need to do this regularly. For example, you do it before you check in your code. I hope this helped you.